Hi, Bonnie Rogers here. David and I are the co-creators, the retrofuturists of Selectric Motors. This is part one of two video segments where we'll get into what it's like to drive a Selectric bug. First, you'll see how the drive differs from that of the original stock Beetle and other current production model EVs today. So today we're gonna to tag along with David and take a virtual ride in this 1966 Selectric bug. Here we are cruising along the sunny sunset cliffs of San Diego. The electric bug makes for a quiet ride, but not so silent that you miss the natural sound and the feel of the road and the wind. One of the new sounds you'll hear happens when you accelerate and when you slow down. That's the electric motor. Oh, and check this out. David's using only his right foot on the throttle and the brake, not using the clutch at all when he comes to a stop. So when you're driving around town, you have a choice. You can shift gears and use the clutch, or simply drive it like an automatic. Okay, now over to Starbucks for a quick drive through Stay in third gear. No clutch or downshifting is needed, so it's easy to manage coffee with a free hand while you're on the road. Let's head out to the country. Unlike every production EV made today, this electric uses a rebuilt stock transmission with four on the floor. This gives the driver selectable torque. Now it's easy and super fun to hit the throttle and pass slow traffic ahead. We've upgraded suspension with heavy duty shocks added to sway bar and disc brakes. The car handles like it never did before. But one of the best things about driving on an open twisty road is simply taking your foot off the throttle and letting the regen braking ease you through the curves. This regen braking also extends the lifespan of disc brakes so now, the car automatically slows itself whenever you're not driving it forward. When it's time to head back into civilization, it's easy to merge into fast freeway traffic. Instant torque is available at any speed. You can shift up to 45 and take it all the way up to 80 in third gear. This electric cruises happily at 70 to 80 miles an hour in fourth. Well, we've even hit over 100 miles an hour on the track. Now stay with us for part two, and we'll cover the features and specs of the bug build. At Electric Motors, we do more than just convert classics to electric. While fusing the retro vehicle with a future forward drivetrain, we add a number of modifications to provide an optimum driving experience.